severe drought for the last six months in Baringo County. And the local communities have got, uh, they have really faced it rough uh, getting water because they must fetch this water either from the dams, either from the rivers flowing to Lake Baringo, um, or they get it from um, their roof catchment, and most of these have already been exhausted. Last time you kikuja, nini mvoi mvoi luko imenyesha. Then vile mvoi linyesha, skumle rudi tu kaka kitu one month. Ivi mvoi kaisha, mvoi kaka tika. Then tu kanza kuchata maji bari. During the dry season. Where do you think the wild animals get their water? During the dry season, wild animals get water from Lake Baringo. Correct. Love for her. tunachotanga maji barini lakini kwa sisi maji maji ni, ni karibu lakini kwa wale huko juu maji mvuke katika then hizo dams maji naisha mbuzi mbuzi wanakunywa ngombe sema tu wanyama na ya kuchota nyumbani lakini ikisha ikisha wanakuja barini na nimbali sana sasa inabidi kama inabidi kama hata wanaweza kuja wanakuja saa tisa huku bari by time wafike kwao Juisha waka isha kwa saine. Alafu, ima jiabari, siku mvoi nyeshi, ima jiabari ina nini? Ina, ina make bones kwa week kwa sababu ni salt. Na menu ina kwa brown. kama vile tunaenda sabarini vile tunatoka shule unasenda maji mpaka saa 12 ukuje ufunge mbuzi tengeneza chakula sasa unaona hapo itakuwa giza tafika saa kulala umelala ujesoma asubuhi tena unaamka mapema kwenda barini fika saa tatu umechelewa shule unaenda ukosa na affect masomo tunaweza saidika kwa 
serikali kutumane mo wata tangu tulete ujut saidi maji lava tangu wakati nikurudi dioni na pata tu msaza mama wa shato tama dia metega maji ame kujumba na pata na fasi ukusoma asubuhi yada msaza ni sani mbeni tatega maji wa enda shule asa saidi asa yuo e tu na to barini sisi safu lakini tu na chemsha lafu tu na tu na kaku moto tu na kaku baridu wa ju lava asubuhi tu na to tu na eto kujerki Iki angasi wetu imetu turu kwa kwa nini kwa ngombe kukonda na kukufa wengi na wengi sana na kutufanya tuchelewe kwa magasi yetu ansa mimi mwenye na fanyanga gasi ya duka na na fanyanga gasi ya duka wakati nimechelewa kama sahi na hivi alafu naenda kwanza kutabuta chakula ya mbusi alafu narudi kuweka nyumbani ile kitu ile tufanya I met the two ten and a good toil in my father to Liwega, Kununua Fiacula and Bus. Come I a promi, Sakula ya promi, now when you want a letter, one at Busia, a lavu, to Nakuja Kununua, to Napa and Bus. Now I Ali Sasa name was start to say to my fanya yogas, not to know, not to know to Rica, to my Malisa Glakit, now to Natana Namnangina ya. Kuto iso bitu yale mapato yenye tunafatanga imerudi chini kwa sababu tunachelewa kwenda kasi. Sasa ndovu sasa nasikia ni muti yangu. Eh. Hakuna mtu yoyote na mwambia ndovu. Ni muti ya hiyo kilani. Babu yangu na elese mimi. So kijana wakati na hana mkuya ndovu naenda hivi. Anashika i mchanga hivi kwaana arufu arufu na na tokea pandai so enda pandai le rudi nyuma sisi na enda sisi na enda rudi nyuma sasa nipaka na pata ndovu usimama so ndovu na na pandua hivi na ana shika yake hivi ana chukua chu sasa mimi na naweka mkono yangu hivi elekea huko so ndovu sasa nakuja naenda hivi Nilipo sikia kuna ndofu wa mekwama, basi tukaenda na watu wengine. Nikaungana na nikaungana na watu wengine, tukaenda kuangalia wao ndofu. E, Tulimu fika pale, tukawana kumbi kuna ndofu wa meshindo kutoka. Na ayuku, awa kwa ndofu wakubwa ni wa, wa, wa janga, wa watoto. Hawa, walikuwa mekwama kwa muda sana. Overnight, wakiwa mepambaniwa na wale wakubwa kuto, kutoa. Waka shindwa kutoa. Sasa, Tulu fika pale tukawana wame, wamelemewa sana na ule udongo ama madi. Nika fikiria tunawesa toacha hawa nyama. Kwa sababu watu kwa na chochote, chia kusaidia na ayo. Pahadu mzuri kulikuwa na maji. Kulikuwa na maji hapo, ambayo likuwa mesanyika kidogo. Kambia saa hii maji nyi hiko kwa kandu ya hii ndovu, tuchote. Dawa ya hawa ndovu ni kuchotea maji kwa sababu, eh, itasaidia ile maji ile udongo kwa nyikuwa maji maji ndio itoke 
inafanya the mud kuwa slippery. Mimi nikakuja ushika ile maji na kumsukumia kwa mkono hivi. Yeye akateka. Huyo huyo tena kama wale wengine. Kaanza kuteka maji na kujimwekea. Nikamwekea tena kateka, akaweka mdomo kunywa. Hasa nikasema huyu hili eh, hii ni inaashiria kwamba choto imebidi eh, au kuna kiu na amesikia choto kwa mwili sana. Sasa nataka amwagie maji. Nikakimbia nyumbani kutoa eh, 20 liters chicken tukakucha cut into halves alafu tunatumia sasa kuchotea maji. Wakati huo tukubika simu eh, kata bless cabinet wa letter reinforcement ya kucha kusaidiana na wao kwa sababu hao walikuwa wakubwa sasa. Hapo tukamwekea mwekea maji tukamwekea mwekea maji hao pia wakakucha na watabuza. Hiyo sasa ndio ilitusaidia kwa sababu tungeweza kwa nguvu yetu wenyewe. Tukuja kufunga kwa gamba baada ya kumwekea maji kabisa ya ya in ya hii watabuza wakamwekea mwekea maji mpaka kila mahali na kwa chemi chemi. Ndio wakatoa na ile mafuta na gari. All that team including the animal rights reserved a team that is based in Ibasha were all mobilized to attend this but little did we know that the community had taken such a commendable uh, job This reserve is quite unique because it sits again at the bottom of the western wall which is the the Elgeyo escarpment. This is a very rich escarpment that uh, sends its waters to the Kerio. And because of that again the, the the biodiversity thrives very well here. This area is part of the Great Rift Valley system which is the 6000 km geological uh, wonder that runs from Mozambique to Jordan across 22 countries so we sit right almost in the middle of it we've got a number of features which includes the woodland forests um the riverine forests and in in it is a diversity of bird life this is one area that there's so much bird life that the communities have got villages named up after the birds When we thought of having the conservancy in the year 2007, one of the biggest challenge was we didn't have uh, wildlife. All of them were wiped out because of the poaching and uh, game meat problem. One of the objectives was to bring back all the wildlife that we had. So they were brought in in uh, February from Soisambu. It was a four hour drive by road to uh, Kambia Samaki. And then from uh, Kambia Samaki, it was the biggest challenge now bringing them across the lake because the lake had already swollen up. And uh, sometimes you'll have uh, like the leopards feeding on the, eating the, uh, predating on the shorts. Another issue is we have the, the rock pythons and uh, the crocodiles who mostly are on, along the lake shore. So when you have the herd coming to drink water, obviously they'll be predated on. Two of them are pregnant. One is here, one is still on, on the other side. And we were really fearing because we, we knew that one of, one of them will be due by this June. But because of the severe drought, we were fearing that maybe they, will, they, they might have premature births. 
and that was very detrimental to us because we really want to have them multiply. That is our objective here. When people come in, the wildlife uh, become more scared because of the rampant movement, and sometimes this uh, herd has come with firearms. So they'll tend to like have uh, shoot them for food. Competition for resources will always end up in a conflict in one way or another. And I think what we are seeing in Baringo is a man manifestation of the same and probably other underlying uh, factors. But basically, it is about uh, the water and the pasture resources that have continued to dwindle every, every time. Some of those who bring the, the animals looking for pasture and water end up stealing livestock from the helping side, which is, the, which is Baringo North. Sometimes they, uh, there are cases of shops being um, destroyed, stolen from, and so on. So there is a direct link between drought and insecurity. If the community can, all, uh, for example, provide the peaceful environment, for example, when there's no fighting, uh, the communities can freely walk, mingle within the neighborhood, because now we have two communities. For example, in Ruko, we have the Gems and we have Pokot, and we, on the other side of the lake, we have the Tugens. If this community can uh, coexist peacefully, that means the business will be able to thrive well. The Mao forest is very, very important. It's a crucial um, affair for us in the lower region here. If the forest cover is not maintained uh, in, in the Mao forest, in Nyandarwa, in Laikipia, and the rest of the other catchments, um, you realize that we have very little water, you know, flowing down here to, to the lakes. Some years back, people used to set aside like in some hilly areas whereby they kind of close that area so that no one grazes in those places. They only graze where they easily access. When drought comes, that place is still green and they control the use of that area for, for pasture. And they also have set aside some water catchment area so that the animals can survive even during during drought so people uh, all the actors need to rethink on how to respond to such situations they need to do it prior they need to prepare prior the issue of hizo dams the temporary rivers to be tapped from the source that needs to be taken very seriously because when you pass through these temporary rivers, they are very, very huge. Like some can go up to 100 meters wide. And when it rains heavily, all that thing is filled with water. Other kuna story kuwa, they can even wash away vehicles, even lorries. Lorries have been washed away by the temporary rivers. That shows the amount of, of water that passes through and it's wasted. The use of water in, a, in an efficient manner. For instance, if we have irrigation schemes, we would want to employ efficient technologies like drip irrigation. If it is also um, built up areas, we'd like to see people harvesting water so that we get the system running.
au viongozi wetu kama MCA na mbunge wetu na kwa sababu hawa ndio na deal na projects ya county sasa angelete hiyo maji ifike huko tange alafu sisi wenyewe tukinunulie pipe sile kidogo dogo yenye inakucha mpaka nyumbani nge kwa rais this is actually a worsening situation every year that uh, it's now a matter of real grave concern so can we break for our classes please break for our classes as we wait because we don't know when the account government will provide the water we are planning to <coughs> at least source for more number of the water tanks so that at least we don't the, the, the problem will not recur again and we need to recur that's the dry spell because again at least we are prepared to meet the challenge